Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video. This episode I'm going to show you about the iframe element in HTML. It's actually really cool. It's, it's an element that allows you to open up another web page inside of your web page. And yeah, it's really simple. So to make an iframe, you just got to put the iframe element here. And then you don't have to have anything in the middle. But what's important is the attributes that you can have. So the first one is the source attribute. So it's SRC, basically like you would see in maybe a link, I believe. Or not a link, maybe a, yeah, an image. And so inside of here, um, you'd put the URL of the web page that you want to have appear inside of your web page. So our, already, if you look here, we can see that it has a border here that's really kind of cool. And it's already got some styling to it. So that's really cool. It has like a little border that's indented inside of your web page, kind of. So once we put a little link in here, um, the web page will start to appear inside of here. And it's really small. And in, in a second, we can make it bigger if you want to. But anyway, so let's go ahead and add a web page here. Um, we can actually reference a web page that we made earlier on. So we could do that if we want to, I believe. So tables, tables.html. Let's see if that works. There we go. So if we reload here, it shows our table here. So kind of interesting. Um, that plus is there by accident. I put that there. Um, but anyway, so we have our table here. And that's good. Okay, so besides um, actually like web pages that are within your folders and stuff within your computer, you can actually go to external links, like actual websites that are on the internet. And the only problem with this is that certain websites don't allow you to use their website in an iframe for some reason. I don't know exactly why. But um, what you would do is sometimes just maybe find a different website that allows iframes. Or um, usually you wouldn't even use their websites. So you might use your own website for iframes. But anyway, so we're going to use this link instead of like something famous like Google because they don't allow it for some reason. It just doesn't work. I don't know why. But yeah. So we're going to do HTTP https slash slash example.com so it's just a regular website link you know and if reload we get it here so this is the website and yeah so as you can see we can scroll like this and uh yeah so if you want to be you know bigger we can actually apply different um attributes to our web page um like width and height so you can do this with css styling but of course the element actually comes with its own value so now to add a height um we could do height like that, uh, just like we would add maybe the source attribute here. And then inside of here, we could have how many pixels we want it to be. So we could try like a thousand pixels, which is kind of big. So we get this huge, you know, length here. Let's change it maybe downward to like 500 pixels and reload. There we go. That's better. That's more sizable. Uh, I guess that makes sense. So we could also do width. It doesn't matter the order, by the way. So we could do width, um, likewise. So we could do like maybe 300 for the width, 300 pixels. PX is for pixels. And, uh, Oh, width does not want to work. Let's try 3000. Oh, there we go. It just took a while to reload. Interesting. There we go. I don't know. It's acting weird. But anyway, so that's how you do that. Let's try moving in front. Maybe order does matter. Kind of weird, huh? But, uh, yeah, whatever. So, um, that's how you do that. You can add width, you can add height, um, but there's actually one more really cool thing that we could do here. And um, so we can add links in our web page that actually open up different iframes. So let's say we have a link here, right? So A, and then we have source, um, I guess we'll do tables, uh, the tables, you know, one. So tables.html. And um, so of course this link will be, Oh wait, we gotta give it like a thing. Tables page. So when we reload this, it'll have a link here. Oh wait, wait, we gotta use href not source for a link. Derp. There we go. So now it's clickable, so we can go here if we want to. But let's say we want to make it so when we click this, it changes the iframe to something. Wouldn't that be really cool? So to do that, we could do target. We can apply a target thingy to this link here. So target, and then. The target will be a name that you give your iframe. So let's go ahead and make another thing here. So the name attribute for the uh, iframe, we can give it. So name will do, we can give it a name of iframe one or something like that. So we also got to give it the target of iframe one. So now these are linked. These link, the link and the iframe is now linked together. So now wh whenever we click the link, it um, changes the iframe to that. So let's reload here. So we have default, um, it's the example domain that we have here. But once we click this, watch what happens. It changes to our table page. And likewise, we can have infinite links and do change it to whatever we want. So that's pretty cool, actually. That's a really cool feature. So anyway, so um, yeah, that's that's actually it for uh, iframes. It's really simple. So just remember, we have the source attribute, which is just where we want the iframe to reference. 
and it can be a web page of your own or an external link like a different website as long as they allow the iframes or we can change the height of the um, height and width of the uh, iframe which is really cool so we can change the sizing and uh, and then finally we have the name and target which links the um, iframe to a link so yeah that's really cool so if you enjoyed this episode leave a like if you have any questions just leave a comment and i'll help you um, we also we also have a discord that's in the description you could join it if you want to and subscribe if you want to see more and peace